Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday Live guest tonight, Marcelo Balboa. All right, so we ended the show by hearing Alexi <laughs> Lawless's rant, calling out Tim Howard. He yeah, called out, yeah. I think, Landon Donovan. Yeah. I think Clint Dempsey was yeah. in there. He didn't even mention Christian Pulisic by name. Um, what is your thought on the state of U.S. soccer? Obviously a disappointment, missing out on qualifying for the World Cup. So where do they go now to get things back on track? You know, one, I think sometimes you never, with being the United States, we should always be in the World Cup. That's just who we are. And in the, in the region we're in, we're one of the best ones. And I think we took that for granted this time. So um, sometimes you got to take a step backwards to take two steps forward. So this step backwards now gave us a new president for U.S. soccer. It's going to give us a new coach. And uh, and I think that's kind of where we're at right now. If you look at the young players that played against Portugal, that played against France, people keep saying, no, U.S. soccer is broken. We don't have talent. Oh, we have talent. We just wait to the end of the older veterans' career before we give anybody else a chance. U.S. soccer is in good hands. If you watch this young crop of players, they are very good. Young goalkeepers coming up, defenders that are playing in Europe, forwards who are scoring goals in Europe. So I think we're in good hands. But the next step now is finding the right coach. That's going to be the biggest problem I think we have is finding a coach who knows the American system, that knows how to get under the skin of an American player and a European player because they're going to be in Europe and playing. You mentioned playing in Europe, and you and I had this conversation off air a little bit. You think that goes a long way into developing a player's game? You know what? I, I think so. I, I think if you look at the Josh Sargents who are over in Europe, the Wesley McKenzie who's playing over in Europe, these guys that are playing in Europe are playing every day. They're competing every day. Um, MLS is a great league, and I think it, it served its purpose when it started. It was going to be an American league that gave the Americans an opportunity to develop and then sell them. It's gone away from that. It's gone to now every other league in the world is we're going to buy the best players and we're going to want to win a championship at sometimes you got to sacrifice the American player. So I think right now when American gets an opportunity to go to Europe and to play and to get that kind of competition, I think he's got to go. How does the MLS continue to grow in this country when you're competing against the likes of the NFL and the NBA and Major League Baseball and hockey? How does the MLS continue to grow? Slowly. I think that's important is, is for us, football's been around for tons of years. Same with baseball, same with hockey, same with basketball. Soccer's come and gone quite a few times with the NASL and all these leagues. So it's important to have a, a strong foundation. And I think we do have a strong foundation. Now, all of a sudden, growth is coming too quick for me. Uh, Miami, Nashville, Cincinnati. Now, all of a sudden, we keep going. Everybody wants to be in MLS. We're diluting the product. We're diluting the product, and we don't have that money. We don't have the ownership who's going to go spend tons of money to bring the European players in. So slowly but surely, we keep growing and developing, and I think it's moving in the right direction. You can see it's one of the most popular games. Look at how many people are watching the World Cup right now and are interested in first-time viewers. So it, it, the league is growing. MLS is growing, U.S. soccer is growing, but it's got to make sure we do it in the right and slow steps. For the Colorado Rapids, winners of their last two matches, yep. undefeated in their last three, how does this team get better as the season gets to really, I mean, crunch time? Um, getting healthy bodies is important. Getting Courtney Ford back, getting these players back from injury is huge. Um, when you can get a defender like Courtney Ford, homegrown, you got to love that. The fact that his recovery pace can help out the other defenders, now they can take some more risks. Um, also, the transfer window is opening up again, so I think there's going to be an opportunity for Colorado to see where their needs are, be it in the midfield, be it a goal scorer, be it whatever they're looking for. They're going to have an opportunity to have this window to go find that kind of player, but they're going to have to give up something to get these kind of players. Marcelo, you were a great guest tonight, man. Really appreciated the visit. Anytime, uh, man. I'm going to start placing bets on Belgium because he <laughs> says that's who's taking home the World Cup. So we will see what happens. That's going to do it for us here at the View House Centennial. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com.